And there's a lot of innovation happening in the mobile industry today. And typically when we hear the word mobile, we think phone. But we're rapidly seeing new device categories emerging, including wearables, IoT, and holographic. And users are now expecting their devices to always be connected, always be online, and generating and consuming data. You know, everything from checking the temperature of their home while they're on vacation to tracking their cabs, their flights in real time. And we're using more than one device to consume that data. Take a look at your desk right now. You're likely sitting in front of a desktop or a laptop, and you know many of you will also have a phone or a tablet close by. Now, this may not be unusual for developers, but now we're seeing casual users carrying two, three, even four devices with them. And they expect to be able to switch between them depending on what they're looking to accomplish. And it's not just for work. We're seeing smart devices in all aspects of our lives. And this includes, of course, entertainment, athletics, and healthcare. And these devices, or really more importantly, the applications running on them, need to work everywhere. That's across devices, across network types, and even across country borders. Okay, so we know users are using devices, we know they want their data, but how are they consuming that data? Well, it turns out that users prefer applications. In 2014, we saw that users spent about 85% of their time on their devices using applications and only 15% using mobile browsers. And that trend is only increasing. In 2015, we see 90%. In 2016, we saw up to 92%. Users love apps. Great, so we need to reach our users and we know our users want to use applications. So how do we go about making those applications? Well, we'll focus on the three big ecosystems. That's iOS, Windows, and Android. And writing an app means adding business logic and creating a UI. And using the traditional development approach, we would build our iOS application using Objective-C or Swift in Xcode. And we build our Windows app using C Sharp in Visual Studio using the .NET libraries. And we would build our Android app using Java and Android Studio and use the Android Software Development Kit and the Java SDK. And writing applications for each platform means that we need to we need expertise on each of those platforms with each vendor specific language. So in these cases, that's C Sharp, Java, and then either Objective-C or Swift. And the entire application needs to be repeated in each language. And take a look at the example code here. Even with this simple for loop, there are enough differences that you can't simply copy paste the code between the platforms. And it can be tedious and even error prone to write algorithms multiple times. And when using more complex types and patterns in the languages, that can mean even bigger differences. And this repetition of work continues when you need to make updates or fixes and requires significant care and attention to keep app features in sync. However, Using the vendor provided tools and languages means that we can write really powerful, performant, and compelling applications. We get the full access to all the platform features and we get all of the benefits of using the platform specific tools to write high performance apps. And users prefer applications that use all of those features and use UI provided by the platform. They look and they feel natural. And what's expected on one platform can feel awkward or even wrong on another. So take tabs as an example. On iOS, we want those tabs to be on the bottom, but on Android, the tab is at the top, and even more commonly, you'll see a flyout menu used instead. So what we really want is the ability to write our applications that can take full advantage of the power, the features, and the performance of each platform, but write the code in a common language. Or even better, share that code across these platforms to reduce our development time and to help keep our application synchronized. And this is where Xamarin comes in. Xamarin is an app development platform that lets you build applications for iOS, macOS, Android, and Windows and share code across these platforms. This includes desktop, Android phones, iPhones, Windows Mobile, but also includes other really exciting device types like wearables, IoT, Xbox, and even HoloLens. You can write your code in one language and deploy your application to all of the amazing devices that your users are using today.
And of course, Xamarin is part of Microsoft, and that means that it seamlessly integrates with other Microsoft development products. So as a developer, you have access to end-to-end -to -end tooling to create, test, build, and distribute amazing applications. Thank <music> you.